Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can do a reverse lookup, basically looking in the values in the far right column of our table or, or our array and return a value that's in a column to the left. And we're going to use the offset and match functions to accomplish this. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. Normally when you use VLOOKUP, you need to look up a value in the far left column and then return the result in a column to the right so you can get your answer. We were able in a previous blog post to use VLOOKUP in conjunction with a choose function and array constants to look up a value in a right column and give the result from a column to the left. You can see the link here to that, and I'll also put a link in the notes below so you can access that easily. Now today, we're going to do a similar thing, looking up the values in the right column, returning the result from a column to its left. But instead of using VLOOKUP and CHOOSE with array constants, we're going to use OFFSET and MATCH. So the first thing we're going to do is add that helper column, which gives us the values that we're going to look up in. So I'm just going to concatenate the date here along with the letter in column B. And notice it converted that date to its numeric equivalent, which is fine. I'm going to copy that down, and now I have the column that I'm going to do my lookup in. If we look up offset, you can see it returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. And if I hit tab, you can see the syntax asks for a reference or an anchor point, how many rows down you want to go, how many columns over, and that'll give you your result. There's two more arguments here, height and width, that defines how many rows high and how many columns wide you want the result to be. Normally, it'll, it'll default to one each, and since that's what we want, those are optional arguments, so we're not going to be using those. The match function equals match returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. And again, it wants the value of what we're looking up, the array we're looking it up in, and whether we want that to be an exact or approximate match. So, we're going to go up to cell I2 and we're going to start building our formula. Basically, what we want to do is, with the dates in column A and the letters A, B, C, D, or E in column B, we want to return the result in column C into this table here. So, I'll start off with equals offset, hit tab. Now, my reference, my starting point is going to be cell A1 and I'm going to lock that hitting my F4 key. Now how many rows down I want to go, we're going to use the match function tab. My lookup value is going to be the concatenation of the values in column H with the letters in row 1. So I'm going to type H2 and I'm going to hit my F4 key once, twice, three times to lock the column but not the row. And I'll concatenate that with I1 and again, I'll hit my F4 key once, twice. Now I've locked the row, but not the column. So that gives me my lookup value. My lookup array is going to be the values in column D. And I'll hit F4 to lock that. And my match type, I want an exact match, so that'll be 0. Now, remember, I'm starting with A1, which is in the table that I'm looking up the match for. And if I go down the number of rows that the match function is going to tell me, it's actually going to go one row too far. So I need to subtract a 1 in order to get to the proper value that I want to uh, obtain. So that gives me my rows. Columns-wise, start, I'm starting with cell A1. I want to return the values from column C, so I want to go over two columns. And now I'll close my offset function hit enter, and I get 50. So if I look at January of 2014, in an A, I get 50 as the result in column C. If I copy that over and then copy that down, let's check a couple of these. So if I look in March of B, if I go down to March B, I get 91. 91 is correct. If I look for May, in D, I go down to May, D, I see 6, 
it gives me a 6 there. So by using this formula here, offset, use my anchor point, match, find the match of that concatenated date and letter, subtract 1 from that because I'm starting my anchor point or my reference within the data that I'm looking up, and then go over the number of columns from that reference point. It gives me the values, and I've been able to populate this table by using offset and match, doing a lookup in my far right column, and returning a value in a column to the left. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.